<clears throat> this is another lesson. This is from the end of page 1084. I'm looking at page 43, and uh, this lesson is um, converting Celsius temperatures to Fahrenheit temperatures. And most of the world, and in all of science, the Celsius scale is used. Fahrenheit is used here in the United States. Uh, today, the reason I'm making all these videos is we had snow last night, so we have a snow day here at our school, and the temperature was 31 degrees, which is just below the freezing point, and so all that rain was able to be snow. So we got about eight inches of snow last night. And, uh, but in other countries, when they use the Celsius scale, the freezing point of water is zero degrees, so it has to be zero degrees Celsius for there to be snow, whereas here it's 32 degrees. And then the boiling point of water is 212 degrees Fahrenheit, but on the Celsius scale it's 100 degrees. So it's a totally different scale and it's, it takes some getting used to. If you live here in the United States, you are probably used to saying it's a nice day when it's 70 degrees and uh, that your body temperature is normally 98.6, but if you had a fever, it might be 100 or 102 degrees. Uh, so we get used to those numbers, but in other countries where they use the Celsius scale, they get comfortable with different numbers as being what we might say normal, all right? But there are a lot of opportunities, especially if you travel, to uh, have to convert from one temperature scale to another. We're gonna do a little algebra, a little pre-algebra here in order to do this. We have a formula that says that if we take nine-fifths, right, times Tc, now this is just one, this represents one number, this variable Tc means the Celsius temperature, and we're going to multiply nine-fifths times the Celsius temperature, take the answer to that and add 32. And then when we get done, we will have the Fahrenheit temperature. <clears throat> Now, if you remember, in a previous pace, we talked about the order of operations. And that tells us that we always do the multiplying before we do any, or di any addition or subtraction. So in this problem here, when I get a number, like I'm going to try 10, for, first of all. I would not add 10 plus 32 to get 42 and then multiply that times 9 fifths because I'd get the wrong answer. I'm going to take 10 and plug it in here solve this first and then add 32 to the answer. I'm going to do it over here. 9 fifths times 10. All right, I'm going to put that over 1 just so that I realize this is the numerator and then add 32. So now I can cancel here and get 18 plus 32 which would be 50 degrees. So we would say this is equal to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Let's do the same problem. This time I'm going to use this formula, but to convert 37 degrees. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> All right. Now this does not work out <clears throat> as easily, so I have to multiply 9 times 37. Um, 27 plus 6, 33. Okay. And then that would be oh, divided by 5. So it's like 333 fifths plus 32. <clears throat> so dividing this by 5, we'll get 6. Get another 6. And that is going to leave 3 fifths, 66 and 3 fifths. Okay, so 66 and 3 fifths plus 32, put the 32 underneath here, 98 
and three fifths. You know what I should have done? Let me, I mean, this is a way of doing it, but let's carry it out to a decimal. All right, so I'm going to add 0 0.00, and that way I get 0 0.6, 66.6. And now when I add the 32, I get 98.6. Ah, so this is the normal body temperature, if you recognize that. When mom says, no, you don't have a fever, your temperature is 98.6. That's normal body temperature. And so on the Celsius scale, we see that that's 37 degrees. All right, so when you get to problem 7 in your homework on page 44, this problem should help you do that. Let's also talk about problem 10 on page 44, because for that one, we're using a negative number. Yikes. Let's see what that does. We're going to use the same formula, 9 fifths times, this time I'm going to plug in negative 18 and then add 32. All right. So I have to multiply 9 times 18. So I get 162. Um, and then we're going to take that and divide by 5. Fifteen gives me twelve. Five goes into twelve. Two. Ten. Point four. Thirty-two point four. But notice it's negative because this was negative. <coughs> when I multiply, my answer is still going to be negative. So I have negative thirty-two point four plus positive thirty-two point zero. And if you remember with the positive and negative scales, well, just think about this as being on a temperature scale. If you were at negative, let's say negative two degrees, and then the temperature went up three degrees, now you're up into the positive zone, one degree. So I'm gonna have to subtract 32 from 32.4, find the difference between those two. And so the answer comes out to be 0 0.4 with a negative, okay? So on the negative scale, negative 32.4, and I go in the positive direction, 32, but I'm not quite at zero yet. I'm still 0.4 degrees in the negative. That's kind of a tricky one, all right? And it looks like they have one more problem on page 44 that uses negative 40 degrees. So again, you plug that in here, but when you do that, you can cancel. So that's an easier one. I chose two of the hardest ones on page 44 to help you with. All right, we'll stop the video there. And on the next page, we'll pick it up again with another lesson, converting Fahrenheit to Celsius.